hope you guys are doing well. It is about, that I have my watch on, but it is 6.19. It is very early, but the sun is slowly starting to rise, and I was thinking that I might sit outside for a little bit and watch the sun rise. I am working on making some matcha tea. So, a few updates. I did end up deciding to order the bamboo whisk. I found one for a pretty, like, decent price on Amazon, and I only ordered the bamboo whisk. I'm, like, kind of, like, iffy on whether I really need, like, I've seen, like, some people, like, some, like, brands, like, suggest that you need, like, the little, like, dipper, and I'm just, like, eh, I'm, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to wait on that. Um, so... I am just heating up some water and also heating up some milk and then I am gonna probably sit outside. I am dying to finish my book. I am like so close. I was hoping to finish it last night. I love this book so far. I am just uh, all I want, like I don't want to I want to say so much, but I also don't want to spoil it for you. All I know that if if you saw the when, Where the Crawdads Steam movie but did not read the book, go read the book. I have not seen the movie, and I'm glad I haven't seen the movie because personally, like, the book is usually better, and I want to go see the movie, but I really am glad that I read the book first. And so, as... I said in my last video I have class today and um, so I'm trying to figure out like how that's gonna work because I do have the class is from like 10 to 5 and um, so it's a long class we're supposed to get like a 45 minute break at least for lunch but I'm like not sure if I'm gonna have enough time to like get here eat and then go back for class and um, especially because my class is like on the other side of campus which is nowhere near where I live. So I am thinking that I might just look and see if there are some possibilities of places I can eat and just eat somewhere off, either off campus or either eat like I wanted to, if there are some of the places on campus are open and eat there. So that's kind of what I'm thinking so far. Um, I did also end up, so one of the brands that I like for loose leaf tea, it was having like a summer sale for 40% off. And so I did end up deciding to order um, jasmine green tea pearls. Um, but more so just because like, I've been really wanting to have more tea varieties in my like, you know, stock. Um, I just love switching off on my tea, and even like yesterday afternoon, I like, I got so tan just from sitting outside, I was like looking at my skin, which is like, man, like all I did was sit outside, but I sat outside for like at least like three hours or more, but I was so into my book and just was loving just being outside and so I sat outside and read my book for like three hours or more and I got so tan for some reason but that's my dad's skin for me and so I am just so hooked on the book now and I'm just like ready to like want to know what happens <laughs> so I might try to finish it this morning but I'm also like trying to make sure I get everything done so I also like so I got this at the first door. I actually really want to go back to the first door just because there were a couple of things that I wanted that um, I was like, no, I'm not going to get it. I don't know that I need it, but now it's like I left and it's been like a week or more and I'm still with my and gotten them. Um, and so I am trying to just like, I need to like either look up like a book from the library or look up some YouTube videos on like some ideas of how to use it because I know you can use them for teas. I know you can also use them for like making jam but I like always wanted one and 
like when I saw that the thrift store had it like a month or two ago, I was like so excited, but it's like the thrift store is a little farther away than I can like walk to. And so then I was really excited when my friend wanted me to go, and then like it just so happened they still had it. And plus like this one is actually a really nice one. So anyways, good morning. <laughs> it is very early in the morning. I could not sleep. I like I slept good for a while and then not like or something and I like had a hard time falling back to sleep. I did eventually sleep for about like an hour or maybe like 30 minutes and then I think like probably like just the nervousness or excitement or whatever um just kind of kept me from really being able to like go back to sleep. But I'm like you know what I'm up I really want to go sit outside and just watch the sun come up. I already can see some pink out there and I'm just like oh so beautiful so I'm just kind of I've already heated up the milk I might need to heat it up just a tiny bit more now that it's just been sitting there um but now I'm just waiting for the water to heat up I've got my matcha and so um I figured I would take you guys along with me um obviously I can't take you like into class um but I figured I would try to take you along as best I can and um, even like at the end of the day like try to like kind of like talk to you about like how I felt like my first class went. Um, thankfully this class is only like every third Saturday so I will not have this class like every Saturday. Um, but this class is like at least nice in the sense that it's during the day and not at night. I don't know. I would love to know in the comments, like, would you prefer a class that is at night, or would you prefer a class that is during the day? I am obviously more of a daytime person, so to me, it, a class during the day is better, but um, I also kind of like that the night classes help me to be able to still keep my job. So, that is kind of how it is for me. I am nervous for the night classes, though. So, let me know in the comments below, like, are you, like, a night person and you would love having night classes? Or are you a person who, like, like, I had a friend who, like, she was like, yeah, but, like, night classes are great because then you have more free time. I was like, I guess. Like, okay. <laughs> but I guess to me, it's like, I feel like I would wait all that time and then just be like, thinking like oh my gosh I don't want to go to class I don't want to go to class because even if I like the class it's like I have all that time to think about like you know all the other things I could be doing so, so that's me <laughs> I'm gonna heat this milk up just a little bit because it did get kind of cooled off a little bit. I'm going to say like maybe 45 minutes. We are going to, so I'm out of creamer. So we are going to have to do something like um, maybe, maybe add some like maple syrup or something like that to it for if I have a second cup. Um, but we are, um, Otherwise, I think it'll be good. I don't know if I'm going to have a second cup yet or not. Um, I'm just trying to keep that in mind. I was glad that I found the maple syrup because for a while I was just like, oh my gosh, I thought I had maple syrup. Where is it? And then, like, I could not find it. So. Okay. Now we're gonna take my. Whoop. Now the milk is definitely hot. I can feel it. All right. Pour it in there. Ooh, yeah. So 
We've got my creamer and we are just gonna go sit outside. So it is very beautiful out, a little cloudy, but still very beautiful. I am trying to currently walk back to where my seat is. So you can definitely see the, but yeah, you can see that the pink is starting to rise a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see it too. Um, but. I wanted to kind of share that with you. Um, it seems like when I zoom up a little bit, you guys can see it better. This is my first time really trying to do this. But I just thought it was so beautiful when I was like looking through the window. Um, so, there we go. Yeah, it seems like when I hold it, it's better. Uh -huh. The matcha tastes like perfect this morning, but it's just like, it's so warm, and I don't know, it's like the right amount of warm this morning. I'm sorry that it's like, kind of like blurring in and out, it's just because I'm holding it, but I like, it seems like when I hold it, like, you guys can see the colors better. Right now, it's like it's not a lot of pink and stuff. It's been kind of cloudy here. So, but like even like if you look over here, you can see like it's just a tree, but you can see where like there's light coming in. And so it's like you can see like the bits and little pieces of it. So. But anyway, that is kind of how it's going here. So I'm gonna drink my matcha. When it starts rising a little bit more, I will try to like show another picture. Oh, there's so many birds out this morning too. Man, the moon's still out. That's crazy. Um, so. But it is only 6.32. <laughs> uh, it feels so crazy being like such an early riser. But I just could not sleep anymore. I was just like, I think like my brain was just so like nervous or something. But I mean, it is my first like real like, because although I took those two classes over the summer, it was like, those were only five week classes. And so it's like, I think that for me, those classes were like, they were exciting and nerve-wracking, but at the same time, they were nothing compared to, like, four classes and really long classes, so. But yeah, I am so close to finish finishing where the crawl dad seen. I am so hoping I can finish it soon. I I would finish it this morning, but I just don't know if I'm gonna have time. I I wanted to pack lunch to take to class, but apparently we're not allowed to have food in the classroom and it's not the teacher's choice. It's the it's just like the rule of that particular classroom and so it's not like her decision it's that like building um so i feel i'm like bummed about that so i gotta like look up and see if um some of the places on campus that aren't they have like weird hours on the weekend that they're gonna be open i don't really want to go like we do have a mose and I don't really want to go there. I, especially because I don't really, like my boyfriend, come, I am hoping to like be able to go to this place called Aubon Pan. 
and I don't know if you guys know about that place or not. There are, uh, I know there's one in Richmond, Virginia, um, but I don't know if there's one um, anywhere else. There, I can't think of where else they might be located. But they're like a, they're kind of like a breakfast lunch place, and then they also have like, you know, they have their coffee, their breakfast, their bagels, they have like to-go food as well. They do have, there is a, a couple of other places I could go. There is a Panda Express, I mean, I feel like Panda Express is everywhere, and then there's a Chick-fil-A, what's today, Saturday, so, today's Saturday, so Chick-fil-A should be open. But, because I'm vegan, there's not a lot of options at Chick-fil-A. I don't know. I might, like... I did see, so, like, the Amish store has this. this there's, like, an Amish store here in town. And they're already putting stuff out for fall. Um, I already saw another item. Like, when I get, like, if I do choose to get decorations for fall, I like to try to get things that I think I can use, like, for at least months rather than or I will cherish for a long time and they actually have something I, I would like to see how expensive it is but because some of their stuff is expensive but they um they have this like item that is actually like it's like a teapot and then it has like which like you know me I like I think that would be awesome. I actually think that eventually I wouldn't mind having like my own like little like vintage type teapot for tea and like I think that would be so cool but this one is like black obviously for Halloween and then it has like decorations in it like some sort of like Halloween type decorations and it's like I'm just like now this I could totally see put in somewhere in my apartment whether it be on like a table or like something like that. There's a couple of decorations I have in my apartment, like little antiques that I'm like thinking I might end up put in somewhere else in the apartment because I just feel like they might fit better there. It's been crazy trying to figure all that out. I also am thinking I want to get my candles from home and because I like sitting outside, I might want to try like, you know, even though I'm not supposed to use candles in the apartment, try like bringing my candles outside and just like light a candle for while I'm sitting outside. And because all of my candles are soy wax, and so they're all like, you know, made very like sustainably. And like, I just hate not having my candles. And I like, I'm a person who like, I mean, especially now that it's getting so nice out, I'm sitting out here for like hours sometimes now, and I would love to just like, you know, light a candle and be able to sit out here even at night when it's not like, especially because I think about like when it, you know, the time changes and it starts to get darker early, and that's like kind of when I'm thinking like I might want to try to start switching to having candles outside. I mean, at least one. I know I also have this strand of, strand of lights that I got off of Amazon. And I am meaning to hang them up, like, right up here. And that's what I was thinking. But I also have this idea to hang them up, like, along this area. Um, because this goes, like, all around. And then it also goes around here. But I'm not really sure yet. And so... I'm just kind of trying to figure that out. Let's see, it is 6.48 now. Um, hmm. I'm like not ready for breakfast yet. Trying to decide if I want another cup of matcha or not. I'm like honestly really excited to see what the difference will be between the going inside. The sun is up now, so. But I just really wanted to sit outside and watch the sun come up. It was not, like, I think because it's so cloudy this morning, it was not as, like, like, pretty as I thought it would be. Um, but honestly, like, nature has its ways of doing things sometimes. And I think, and 
even though I did not like think that even though I thought like I would see more of the sun rise I I still like love being able to see all the birds fly around and get to see like that part of it because I mean to me it's like you may not get to see a lot of one part of nature but then you get to see another part of nature and that can be really beautiful in itself and I actually really do love seeing all the birds I mean especially when they're just like in their own environment in their trees and stuff and I mean some of them are so like beautiful and some of them are like I mean they're all beautiful in different ways but and other there is one particular park near me that I love going to because it's like it's literally just like specifically meant to reserve that um reserve those animals environment and like people do go and like kayak there and everything but it's like I gosh I would love to just go have like a picnic there because I love walking over there and even though it's not like super close I don't care like I will walk there and just walk and look around and but I would love to just like go there one day and like have a picnic or something but yeah nature is just amazing I mean even like there's still part of the moon up in the sky <laughs> like I mean how crazy is that like you can still see part of the moon hopefully I can aim it correctly yeah there it is yeah see there's still part of the moon up in the sky <sighs> but all right so I will see you guys for breakfast I have decided that I'm not gonna have another matcha and I am going to just go ahead and wait and if I feel the need for a drink later maybe I'll get some Starbucks um it's gonna be a long day so gotta make sure I take some water with me and I yeah it's gonna be a nice long day I know that when I go and just kind of start getting going maybe I'll even bring breakfast out here and just eat breakfast out here that would be nice you know what actually really sounds good is maybe I can like try to make some bread like you know tomorrow um I don't know if I'll have time um but I could maybe like make it I like just I don't know I've been kind of craving craving trying to make that bread again so we'll see anyway random thought hey guys so I am having breakfast as you can see the banana is definitely ready to eat and but it is the last one so that's good and then um I'm also having a muffin I was actually surprised I thought I had eaten more of them but there are actually still three left so I guess I will be eating one tomorrow and then like two next week, but that's fine. I was planning on doing smoothies this coming week. That's one thing I need to do either tonight or either um, tomorrow is like before I go to the grocery store, kind of make a list of anything I might need because um, I already kind of have an idea of like what I'm planning to do, but I just um, have not like actually written down like what all I need like I have maybe like four things on my grocery list but then otherwise I really haven't actually put down what I need so. I have some water along with it I haven't been drinking a lot of water, but I've been in such a tea mood. And even like yesterday, I had a kombucha while I was outside. Um, 
reading because it was just like I got really hot and like a kombucha just sounded so good because of like how like you know when they're in the fr fridge like they get so cold and it was just like it just sounded so satisfying. When I went to Costco I if you haven't watched my Costco haul I have been trying this new brand that my friend recommended called Brew Doctor and so I have tried this like two different flavors one that's like clear mine and then the other flavor that I tried yesterday was super berry and so far I think I like the clear mine better but the super berry was really good too um I just I don't know for some reason the clear mine I seem to prefer I think um but there's one more flavor and I think I'm gonna honestly like that flavor the best because that flavor I think is like a mango flavor and this your girl cannot get enough of mango so mm. I love me some mango I never buy them but I do love them I probably will finish my book either tonight or um so this video will be up for Monday so I probably will have finished the book by then um because I'll either finish it tonight or either I'll finish it tomorrow but we'll see I have no idea I really just, uh, I have so far really loved this book way more, like, it just really has brought out the book warm in me. I really liked Run Rose Run, but definitely nothing compared to this book, but I can see why I liked it, because Another book that I really like and that I, uh, some of the other books that I like have loved and I like have kept and shared are like The Wild by um, Cheryl Schrade, I think is her name. Um, she's another like, that book has been one of my favorite books and the book was way better than the movie. And then, um, and don't get me wrong, I love Reese Witherspoon, but still, the book was ten times better. And um, then, like, I also, like, really loved, like, this book is also set back in, like, the 1960s, 1950s to 1960s. Like, it kind of, it's like one of those books where it, like, happens over a period of time. And that book, and I think that's another reason why it interests me, too, because it also is set back in the time where, like, you know, colored people live in one section of town and white people live in another section. And so, like, the main character is, you know, they the main character is, you know, made fun of and is, people are prejudiced against her. And it's, like, another book that, like, and it's not that I like that. It's, like, I just think of a book that I really loved that, you know, stuff like that also happened which was and there were people who fought for their right which was um the mockingbird and those are two of like my favorite books and they're both like it's like they almost like take the combinations of nature and the issue of like you know the like they took like those two issues and combined them and I'm like but I also just like cannot get enough of the main character and I'm sorry the bookworm in me is coming out I am that person who like if I hadn't chosen to do undergrad and social work I would have done English because I was a bookworm 
most of my life. I truly started becoming a bookworm in like middle school and in high school. Even my senior year, I spent more time in classrooms reading books than I did with other people because most of my friends had graduated. So I, I even like read books like Little Women just for fun, like English was always my favorite subject, so that is like my thing. It's like I think I definitely would have, I would have chosen an English major. Like I remember even when I was trying to decide what I wanted to do when I was in community college and when I was like at that point when I was applying for university and. I kept going back and forth in my head, back and forth, whether I wanted to do social work. I'm honestly not sure what I want to wear today, but I know I want to like dress like a little bit nicer. Not like overdressed, but just look, look cute. Um, that is kind of what I'm thinking. Cause I don't want to, I don't want to like dress down. Um, so I was looking up where I could eat. And the one place I wanted to go is closed on the weekend. They're like still closed for the summer. They don't open officially until Monday, which stinks. And then the other place, um, the other places that are open are like Panda Express, Farm Grill, which is like a that place is disgusting. I personally do not like that place. Um, so I probably would just like will not eat there. And so I honestly am probably gonna go to Starbucks and just get like a bagel there. They also do have that impossible sandwich, but I mean, it's not very good, but like, you know what? Like if I gotta eat something, I can eat it. But I definitely would prefer like a bagel and avocado sauce like that. Really good. So we'll see. All I know is I will probably be like so ready for whatever I have for dinner. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready. I will show you guys what I end up like picking out for my um outfit today. I honestly have no idea but I do kind of feel like looking more like on the cute side today and just particularly like because I want to look more like professional and just look more like look just look more cute in general but yeah uh, all right I will see you guys soon. Hey guys. So I am dressed. Don't know if I'm going to put makeup on or not. I'm kind of feeling like I'm not going to. Just because I don't want to like overdress. And to me makeup can be like a little bit of an overdress. And I just. I don't know. I already did kind of like. Decide to dress up a little bit. So I have this white top on that. My mom actually gave me this. And. So I have this on and I have it tucked in so that it's not like longer or like over top the skirt and I got this skirt for my birthday if you did not watch my birthday haul definitely go check it out and this skirt is like a mustard yellow color and so I just felt like wearing a skirt and so I just wanted to also be comfortable and so I just felt like this was kind of like a comfortable outfit to wear and I also know myself and I know if I put makeup on like by you know five o'clock or even 4 45 I'm probably gonna be like ready to take it off because that's just me I'm not someone who likes to wear makeup all day long all the time like I mean I like it for like a, you know a little while and then I'm kind of like done but I just never have been a big makeup girl so um 
I don't think I'm going to put makeup on, but I think I am going to probably put, like, some earrings on. I actually have some sunflower earrings that I think will work great with this outfit. And then I also really... I have been dying to wear these shoes, and so I actually feel like these shoes will go great. They're not the exact yellow, but, I mean, they go great with the shirt, and so I feel like these are perfect, and personally, I like to wear socks with closed-toed shoes. I mean, sometimes I won't wear them with my sock, my Crocs, but otherwise, I don't know. I just have a personal thing of, like, I feel like... You know, your feet make your closed toed shoes smell, and it just bothers me. So, so far, that is what I've got going on. Hey guys, so I just had these like sunflower earrings on, and then I also added this bracelet, which, like, it doesn't technically go with um, the outfit, but I just it is like that bracelet that I don't really care what I'm wearing. I will wear it every day. Um, and then I also added the Camino because it's only supposed to get into the 80s today. And I also know that like some of the classrooms, it's like really warm. But then other classes, it gets really cold. And so I'm kind of like just trying to like play it safe and just have something to like, you know, keep it warm. Plus like, you know, I'm supposed to get there at like 10 o'clock or um, I mean obviously I'm gonna leave let's see it's 8 34 so I'll probably leave by like 9 o'clock or so or maybe 9 15 just so that I'm not rushing and so I um, am pretty much ready to go actually which like I wasn't trying to like be like hardcore ready to go early but like I just um really wanted to kind of like I knew I wanted to wash my hair and anytime I want to wash my hair I always feel like I need to like kind of like get ready a little earlier because I like just get nervous that washing my hair is going to take too long but I think I get I think I'm that way especially because of like when I had longer hair it felt like it took forever and I would you know half the time it felt like I could never get the conditioner out so, like, I don't tend to use a lot of conditioner either. Um, so, I, yeah, I don't really have, like, a lot now to do. I'm letting my hair dry a little bit because I put, um, it's finally kind of starting to get there. Um, but, like, after washing it and brushing it, I did put some um, gel in it so that it would, like, get all, like, you know, the gel would, like, really bring out the wave and the, um, curl. So now I'm just kind of waiting to, for it to dry so that I can put my hearing aids in. And then, um, otherwise, I'm good to go. I got my water bottle ready so that I can bring water with me because I don't really care where I go. If I'm going to work, if I'm going just about anywhere, I want some water with me. Um, because I get thirsty. <laughs> So, like, I'm that person at the restaurant who can, like, just drink water like a crazy person. Like, I think the waiters and waitresses think I'm a crazy person half the time. Um, but I just, I don't know. I get thirsty very easily. And it's, like, it's kind of like that thing where it's, like, if you put it in front of me, I'm going to drink it. So, that's why I tend to, like, just not get soda is because... At least if I'm drinking water, water is good for me. Um, so, yeah, um, I don't know. Now I'm just kind of chilling. I, like, for the most part, have everything ready in my backpack. I did check the Starbucks card, and it's only, like, it's $20 on it, which, like, that's great for, like, getting drinks. But, like, I'm a little nervous to use it for um, getting food, too. So I might pack, like, a protein bar or, like, some fruit and just, like, you know... Just that way I have some snacks or something because, for one, I do have those mandarins that I need to be, like, eating up anyways. And, like, I just don't want to, I almost would, like, feel better to just get a drink and, like, just eat, like, a small kind of, like, meal that I put together than to actually put together. I mean, I don't know. 
I just like really don't want to go to that farm grill because it's like I don't really know where I'm going. Like I wish, like I'm hoping maybe, maybe I'll get lucky and we'll get more than a 45 minute break because only because then like I can feel comfortable enough like to come home. It's just that I, because I live off campus, obviously because I am a grad student, I just don't feel comfortable like actually like <laughs> coming here if we only have a 45 minute break so I don't know I might go ahead and just pack a couple of snacks like a protein bar and some mandarin oranges um maybe I'll even try one of those Larry and Lenny's bars that I've been kind of saving um so rather than those simply fit protein bars because I really like those of course now I really want one of those lemon ones but <laughs> I like, yeah, you can tell I'm very into like lemon, like the lemon style. There's actually these like lemon Aaron that at this place that I really like to shop at. But I don't know, there's just something about the style of the Aaron that keeps me from buying them because I just don't feel like I would wear them enough. Whereas these sunflower earrings are like just perfect because they're just earrings. Like they're just the flowers, so I feel like I can wear them like any time of year and they go with just about anything <clears throat> so and mustard yellows are definitely like I don't know what it is about mustard yellow but I do really love that color like whereas like I don't know there's other yellows that I'm like eh like so <sighs> all right well I will see you guys soon when we walk over there I will try to kind of like have you guys join the walk, um, but I will not have you join class, but I will, when we are on break, I will make sure to videotape that. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Good morning, friends. Hope you guys are doing well. I am sorry I was, did not pop back on last night, but that class really took it out of me. I um, was so exhausted when I came home, but I also was just like starving because I only ate the protein bar and the mandarin oranges because I was like unsure what to do for lunch. And so I like literally came home and made a veggie burger and ate a whole bag of chips, which, like, is so not like me. I did have some candy, too, but I was just, like, I was starving. Um, so, I just wanted to pop in, and class went well. I even, like, met a couple of people, and most of the people I met seemed very nice, and one girl I even met who, she actually is, um, lives near about like 20 minutes away from where I'm originally from so that was kind of cool and so <coughs> I don't know I just was like definitely worn out especially because that was like my first class um for the semester and it was like 10 it was about to go 10 to 5 but I think the teacher could tell that we were like just done for it and so she let us out around like 4 10 which I was grateful for because I was losing it I mean anytime she would turn the lights off to show us like the powerpoint and talk there were times that I like I am not a person who can fall asleep in class but I did I did feel like I could um all I know is next time we have the Saturday class. It's only every third Saturday, but I know next time I do. Um, I definitely am planning on bringing a fidget because I do have some, although I got rid of a lot of my fidgets, I kept the ones that I actually felt like I used, whether, because I tend to use like the fidget coop, the ones that I can kind of like wear to work and actually not look like inappropriate or whatever, like not look like childish. Um, and I also, <coughs> but I just like, I know next time I'm definitely going to have to bring like some sort of fidget because I was like getting so antsy 
after like an hour or two because it was just so like it was such a long class and it's like the five week classes okay like you know I could like sometimes I would have a fidget next to me in case I needed it but it was like that wasn't like so bad because it was like so quick but it was like this class it's like you're just sitting there for so long and it was just like after a while I was like I'm so done and I was glad that we did have some group activities though and that we did also like take the one hour for lunch rather than 45 minutes which is originally the plan and so next time I do plan to also pack a lunch rather than just pack a protein bar and some fruit. I am on my second cup of matcha. I am out of my creamer so I had to do um I decided to try doing like the unsweetened almond milk and then add ake to it and the first cup wasn't that great because I guess I just didn't add enough ake to it but this cup is actually good. I definitely think I'm a person who like needs the sweetener but it's just because of like matcha can have a very grassy flavor. I did get Starbucks yesterday. Um, I got a chai tea latte but personally I think that next time I would probably get, I probably would get either a matcha or either get coffee. Like I kept looking at the frappuccinos and was thinking like oh maybe I'll get a matcha cream but then I like was just like thinking no I'll be safe and just get a chai and I'm wishing I had tried that matcha cream you know but oh well. Um, so that is pretty much it. I um I'm just gonna be doing some grocery shopping today and I already went ahead and uploaded a couple of things I needed to upload it. Um yeah, it's gonna be a busy week because I am starting work back up and I'm also taking three classes this week because I'm also taking I'm taking a class on Monday, I'm taking a class on Wednesday and on Friday. Thankfully, we don't have the Saturday class, though, this week, so that'll be nice, um, just to kind of have a breather and have some time to kind of, like, work on homework, but also, like, just do some stuff for me, and um, so that'll be nice. I am so close to finishing my book, um, Where the Crawdads See. I am literally so close, like, so close. I am so excited to finish it. I honestly would have loved to have finished it last night, but like my brain was just so dead. I was just watching TV last night, but even that was like tiring to me because my eyes were just so worn out from looking at a screen all day. Um, but it was like I just didn't really want to like just sit in silence either. And so. But I ended up going to bed by like 8 o'clock because I was just so tired and so yeah and that is pretty much it. I feel like I hope this video was like good um I just feel like I definitely like I don't know definitely put in the comments below like your ideas for like lunches that are like gonna actually last like a long period of time because like part of why I didn't pack a lunch was because I like felt like a lunch meat sandwich wasn't gonna be good after a couple of hours or like you know however long like I felt like it was gonna kind of be all like nasty so I was trying to think of like what would actually like it's just been so long since, it feels like it's been so long since I've packed lunches and like I don't really do that for my job because I'm part-time so a lot of times I don't have to be there for lunch and so I can just come home and have lunch and then go back to work and or either I'll just like stay screw it and eat a protein bar but like because this class is so long it's like I will be like I would like starve in so I'm just like I'm like I either gotta pack more snacks or either I gotta like figure something else out but let me know in the comments below um your idea and <clears throat> so the class I took yesterday was theories of counseling so it's just all about like the different theories in counseling and so it's very like which like I actually have taken a class similar to this a little different but it was 
like back when I was an undergrad, you also t like take a class for social work. That is like theories and of social work. Like I mean, I don't know about it, that's the exact name of it, but it's like you also learn about different theories in social work. And so in counseling, there are different theories of counseling, and so that was that, that's what that class is about. It's all the different theories you can use. And um, like, but like I mean. It's very, so it was interesting, but it was also kind of like, I think for me, because I took classes over the summer, it was like, it was nice to already know some of the information, but at the same time, it was, I could find myself already like, able to like, come up with ideas and think of like, well, like you would use this theory more with this and that theory more with that and I don't know. Sorry, my brain's already like thinking stuff. I have to read one chapter for a class, um, for I think introduction to counseling, and then I still have I like pretty much have everything else done. I know for this particular class that I had yesterday, we have to read three chapters, but we don't have to. Everything like is due by like nine nine, and we have to do um, a couple of other things, but. Um, I know because I have accommodation, she has to fix, um, the, like, pre-test thing. Like, it's not an actual test. It's just, like, it's more for them to see, like, where, like, we fall coming into the counseling program. And then, like, well, of course, it's, like, something we have to take at the end of the counseling program. And so we'll also, like, take it again later. But that's, like, the graded one. This one is not graded. It's more just we get like a point from it, like 5% I think from doing it and it's really interesting, but yeah, I honestly still feel pretty tired today, <laughs> but I just like, that was a long class. I, I like was not even walking very fast to come back home. My mom's like, I can't believe you're walking so slow. So. Um, yeah, um, I don't know what I'll do. I know I just gotta go grocery shopping. I am pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I'm going to church, but yeah, I will, I will see you guys next time. And I'm sorry if this video kind of like went on like a crazy ride, but you know, a seven hour seven hour type class definitely kind of throws you off and so I definitely kind of came home and was just like okay like I'm done now so I will see you guys next time don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye